Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and I just wanted to jump on today and show you what I created for my challenge entry for Beef Northway Designs um, challenge, her birthday giveaway. So um, there were a few things that you needed to make. You had to pick two out of the options were making a memory decks embellishments, a set of two, <clears throat> a trinket or embellishment box or a mini banner. Um, I obviously made a little bit more than what was asked for and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, what I made and what I'm sending her. So I'm going to start off with my embellishments. I decided to use Market Square um, and I had fun making these embellishments. So I used my Starburst die. I had this other layering piece. I die cut that out and then just use um, one of the clear stickers. And what I did, instead of backing it on white cardstock, I like to back mine on vellum. And I think it makes it really nice because then you don't have to, you know, like the fussy cutting doesn't have to be perfect and it still looks really pretty. It still gives it a little bit more color. Excuse my nail, guys. I kind of, I broke it a little bit. <clears throat> and then I added some stickles to the camera. And so I think that turned out kind of cute. So that's one of my embellishments. And then I also have um, this other one here. That's a cute little duck. I put a little bit of um, pops on her cheek. And yeah, just simple. And it says, hello, dear one. And I was able to use that cute little um, crate with the little apples in there. So I thought that turned out cute. <clears throat> and this is the third one that I made um, using the Starburst die. It's kind of chunky. <clears throat> Some of that um, like snow tool from Dollar Tree. A little rosette. A little die cut. One of the clear stickers again. I backed it on vellum. And then used some of the stickers from the sticker sheet. And it says smile, do what you love. And that's exactly what I was doing when I was making all of these things. Crafting is what I love. Um, <laughs> I also included this. I made a memory dex for her. And um, I think it turned out pretty cute. Same thing. Like I said, I backed this on vellum and used some of the ephemera pieces, some chipboard and just did some simple layering there, added some stickles to my floral chipboard piece, a little bit of um, stickles to the window too, like to kind of produce a glare, I guess, a glare effect. So that's the memory decks that I made for her. And then I decided to make her a banner. This is my first time making one of these. I got one of these little banners, um, the cutest banner from Stacy in our Valentine's Day swap and I absolutely love it. I have it hung up in my crafty space and I figured well why not give it a try. So <clears throat> this is, all right let me lay it out so you can see it. And I'm going to go through each tag. So I added some beads to mine and I have this cute little um, like banner die from Rosie's studio. And I die cut these out, backed it up as well on some 110 cardstock so that it's nice and sturdy. Use some of the clear stickers, some jemmies, and these are all kind of simple. I decorated them kind of simple. And in between each one, I added a bead. So I alternated between like the green and like the peachish pink. This one here, I used some clear stickers as well. <coughs> Excuse me. One of those hot air balloons puffy stickers, some chipboard. And then what I did as well was I added a touch of hot glue to the back of each string so that it doesn't move around. And then this one here I think is so pretty. I love the shade of blue against the black and white and the pop of pink. So I used one of the ephemera pieces, this cute little butterfly die cut, the cute little birdie, some of the snow tool behind there, and one of the um, hot air balloons that I backed on vellum. And here I created like a little scene <clears throat> where I have like the little piggy at the little market. And I thought it was really cute. So I used my puffies for this. And this is like making these little mini banners, I think is such a good way of using up your puffy stickers. And then this is the final tag here. Back this on vellum as well. One of those clear stickers, this cute little hummingbird. Then we have the flower there, which I stippled, and it says, be true to you. <clears throat> so 
So this is my, what I'm sending her. And then I also made, so you, for extra points, there were a few things uh, extra that you were able to make. Um, so you can send in die cut sequence mixed angular 3D project or even something off our Amazon wish list. So I decided to just include a sequence mix that kind of goes with the um, collection. So I think it turned out really pretty and I'm not the best at making sequence mixes, but I do like the way this turned out. So I added some nudes, some of like that, um, like it's like this color on my nail sequence like that, some gold, some black and white, some other peach glittering, um, shimmering like sequence. So that's really pretty. <clears throat> so this is what I'm sending her for her birthday challenge giveaway. I hope you guys um, enjoy what I have made and feel inspired to pull out your market square if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos.